We are gonna start with some vanilla cake dough and I always make some extra small cake balls so that I can test my chocolate before dipping my shaped cake pop. First, we're gonna take our cake dough and roll it into a very smooth and round cake ball. Once you've done that, we're going to use our fondant roller and roll it into a cylinder. We're only gonna need one flat side, so I'm gonna tap this end against the table and then I'm going to squeeze around the edges to really define the edges and make them nice and sharp. Then I'll take my fondant roller, smooth it out again, and tap on the table until it's nice and flat and the sides are smooth but sharp. Now we're gonna use our fondant roller and make the neck of our bottle. We're gonna be rolling back and forth at an angle and really start out the neck of our champagne bottle. Once your cake ball looks like the shape of a bullet, we're gonna stop using the fondant roller and start using our fingers to shape the rest of our champagne bottle neck. We're gonna squeeze gently while rotating and just keep doing it until it ends up looking like a champagne bottle. Use your fondant roller to smooth out the sides and then tap it against the table to get it nice and flat. Lastly, take your fondant smoother and roll at an angle to taper off the bottom of your champagne bottle. You may have gotten some small cracks when making the neck on your champagne bottle, but don't worry about it. We can cover it with chocolate later. Place your cake ball in an airtight container and make sure that it's deep enough to where your champagne bottle will fit inside without smushing the top of it when you put the lid on. I made my own black candy melts. It looks brown in the video, but trust me, it dries black. I just added some black candy dye to dark chocolate candy melts. And we're gonna dip our stick in the chocolate and insert it into the champagne bottle until you feel it go all the way up the neck. Now we're gonna cover those cracks that I was talking about earlier so that it's nice and smooth when we dip it. Next, we're gonna use our toothpick and some chocolate to draw on what's going to look like the metal twist top on the top of the champagne bottle. We'll go ahead and do one layer, and when it dries, I'll add a second layer to really make it stick out so that you can see it once we dip. Place four dots on the top of your bottle and then draw lines across to each other so that it looks like a button or an X. Once you've done that, we're gonna go ahead and draw a line from each dot down to the first line that we drew on. And then we're gonna connect each dot at the top around the edge. Make sure to let this dry before dipping. Next, we're gonna get our chocolate nice and ready for dipping. Make sure that it's very fluid and that it hasn't gotten cold. You're gonna need a deep bowl or cup for dipping your champagne bottle. I held mine at an angle to make sure I didn't smush the neck of my champagne bottle against the bottom of my bowl. Hold your cake pop upside down and tap your wrist lightly to knock off all of the excess chocolate. Flip it over and see if you have any bubbles, which I do, so I'm gonna to try to pop it before it dries and then place it aside to dry. We will be making our gold foil with some gold pearl cake shimmer, and we're gonna brush it on with the smallest brush in our cake brush set. Load your cake brush with lots of powder and start going around with long, smooth brush strokes. Then we're gonna come down on the front like a V-neck t-shirt, and don't worry about having crisp edges. We're gonna clean it up with some poppy paint in a minute. With long, smooth brush strokes, we're just gonna try to dust off as much of the excess powder as we can, and we should be left with a nice gold finish. Then you can dust off your cake brush and then replace it with your set, and it should be clean for you to use again later. Next, we're gonna get out our poppy paint, and we're gonna get out red, white, and black. I always like to have some thinner on hand as well, just in case my paint starts to dry out while I'm using it. Make sure to shake your bottle really well. Using a fine tip brush, we're now going to start to draw on the ribbon that's gonna go around our champagne bottle. I will start with a V shape and go around the back of the bottle. Next, we'll draw the outer line for our ribbon, and we'll also draw on the tails. So I'm just drawing on one tail on this one side. 
Using a flat tip brush, I'm then just going to fill in the ribbon with black poppy paint. Then we're gonna outline the ribbon with our white poppy paint and a fine tip brush. Try to use a light hand so that the outline isn't thick. Mix some white with red poppy paint and this is gonna be the base for our sticker since we're painting on top of black you really want it to pop. So we're gonna do the first layer with this light red color. And then the second layer we'll go ahead and do with regular red poppy paint. And we are done with our champagne bottle. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love the way the gold pearl cake shimmer looks on the black and it will turn to different shades of gold depending on the lighting. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.